Hello, let's do game two from class handouts uh, two. So remember, I, I would like you, if you can, to go to Moodle at the bottom, you'll see class handouts two, if you could print those all out and try them on your own. So this is the, the second game in that series. So this is the same structure as the previous game. And we start here with nature. Nature will move left half the time and right half the time. With these games, it's generally best to look for dominant strategies, and there's four places to look. If nature makes player one a lefty, does lefty have a dominant strategy? If nature makes player one a righty, does righty have a dominant strategy? Then does player two have a dominant strategy if told up? And does player two have a dominant strategy if told down? So these games, we have four decisions to make here, 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 and here. And it's easiest to see which of those four, you know, have dominant strategies. All right, let's start. Nature makes player one a lefty. Player one will say up could give me four or five. Down will give me six or seven. Well, down's always going to be better. You're player one. You're told you're a lefty. Regardless of what player two might do, you are better off going down. So down is a dominant strategy. Now you're player two and you're a righty. Well, up gives you 12 or 10, down gives you 31 or 21. Again, no matter what player two might do, you are better off going down. So down is a dominant strategy. Now, you're player two. If you go up, you have a choice of you know, you might get seven or zero if you're here. And if you were here, you would get six or one. So you would say if you're player two and up is played, and it won't be, but if it were, here you would want X, here you'd want X. So if up is played, and again, it won't be, but if it were, you would always want X. Call that dominant. Now, you're player two and down is played. Well, if you were here, you would want y, and if you're here, you would want x. Okay, so now there's no dominant strategy here. So there's four possible places where there could be dominant strategies, right? There's four things we need to figure out, and three of them are easy because they're dominant strategies, but the fourth one, it isn't. So in the last game we did, player one did something different if he was a lefty or a righty. And I'm going to call that a separating equilibrium. In a separating equilibrium, the two types of player ones do different things. So this, we go back to the, the myth of Odysseus. He was going to do something different if he was type crazy or type sane. So even though you know, Palamedes did not know directly what type Odysseus was, he could observe from Odysseus's actions. In a pooling equilibrium, such as this game, player one is going to do the same thing regardless of his type, regardless if he's a lefty or a righty. So that means when player two moves, player two does not know whether he's on the left or the right. So player two has to go back to what nature did. Player two will say, well, given you know player one's rationality, nature goes left, I'm here. And if nature goes right, I'm here. And since there's a 50% chance nature's going to go left, player two will say, I think I'm going to have be here 50% of the time, and I'm going to be here 50% of the time. Remember, in whole class, we assume that players seek to maximize their average payoff or expected payoff, meaning you just multiply the probabilities by the outcomes. So player two will say, if I pick X, half the time I'm here, and I'll get zero. And half the time I'm here, and I will get six. So if I get zero half the time and six half the time, you know, on average I'm getting three. That's just you know zero times 0 0.5 plus six times 0 0.5. And if I play Y, half the time I'm here, and I get four. And half the time I'm here, and I get zero. So if I play Y, get four half the time, zero half the time, on average I get two. Three is better than two. So player two, after down is played, is going to go with x. And this, of course, means that if nature goes left, we end up here. And if nature goes right, we end up here. 
So in this game, half the time, player one will get six. Half the time, player one will get 31. Half the time, player two will get zero. And half the time, player two will get six. Thank you.